Hi, I'm Jerry Gibbs, and today I'd like to introduce you to a new range of products from Eco Pro. This is Eco Pro's turbine blower, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about why we would use this and where we need it. So when a building floods, water gets caught in obscure places and cavities and void spaces, and it's extremely difficult to get that water out. Simply standing a dehumidifier in the middle of the room, or even focusing a dehumidifier on a wet surface, isn't necessarily going to remove the water that's trapped in the cavity, the void space, and in the insulation that lies in the walls and underneath the floor. To do that, or to dry that, we really need to get air into those void spaces. We need to take the air from the dehumidifier and push it into those cavities. The dehumidifier itself, that's designed to dry air. It's not designed to push into air small spaces. So we need a push-in machine. And for that, we use the turbine. So if we've got water trapped in the cavity, it's fairly straightforward. We take the air from the dehumidifier, put it into the turbine, the turbine takes it, and pressurizes it, and via a network of pipes and manifolds, we can push that drier air into the walls and into the cavities. Underneath floors, floors are the hardest to dry because water always gets caught under the floor. The floor is the lowest space in the room. It's the hardest to dry because it's the densest. It's the area that we have to walk on. So getting water out from underneath that is really difficult. And we need a powerful machine. Again, it's quite straightforward. We just need to drill holes in the floor. We put our manifold and pipe work pushing the air into those holes through the floor. We take the dry air created by the dehumidifier, put it into the turbine. The turbine creates the pressure that's going to drive the air underneath the floor. And the desiccated air is then going to remove the moisture from the wet materials. So we have to have a turbine dehumidifier. Only in the older constructions that were very simplistic could water be extracted straight from the masonry. In all modern constructions, we have insulation. In the UK, that's every modern construction that's built since the late 90s has insulation in it. All of those materials, when they get wet, need to be injection dried. So this is an essential piece of equipment in the disaster recovery industry.